Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we have seen about the creating the element, inserting the element, appending the element to the parent, and also last one we have seen how to remove the element also. So before closing this one, I want to discuss you about the another method which is very important in the DOM that is cloning the element. So for example, we need to get a see we need to have a situation in such a way that so we are having some element and I want to replicate that element in our HTML document. So we will be able to see this type of scenario, something like add to cart. So one product is added into the cart. The same another product is added. So the, the different product is added means so we need to show the same type of HTML uh, design in the bottom also like a table. Or otherwise if you are having uh, something like a products displaying the same type of products so we will be having the same type of html so dynamically added elements if you uh, dynamically added products if you want to add it so we want to have the same html right so the same html we can clone it so this clone thing uh, the method is nothing but clone node i will try to explain you in a simple example here so for example i am taking this clone node <coughs> html so this is our basic template and here I am writing h1 so clone node method example so method example let's assume that we have an ul element okay in this ul element we are having one la element that is not nothing but item one so we'll take it we'll take it with like this so let's open this one in our browser if I open this one in our browser let's refresh it yeah here we are able to see clone method example and item one is displayed here fine so as as soon as fine so now i want to copy this element that means i want to clone this element and i want to paste it at the bottom so one thing what we can do so here i can open the script and here let's catch the ul element document dot very selector of ul so here we are having only one ul element so i can use this query selector of ul and i need to catch so what I need to do so in this ul element first I need to create let li element is equal to document dot create element of li so I need to create li element and li element I need to add the text content for that one so let's say that item one so the same thing I want to add it right now what I need to do ul element dot append child append child of this li element so i need to add it so this is the common process if you try to see the output what will happen say new element has been added here but the element if you try to observe the item one element which we have added right now dynamically is same as the first one first element which is already present in the html document so if you clone this html document if you clone this element and you paste it down so there is no need for us to create an element like this right so there is no need to do the create element and adding a text content there is no need to do these all things so in order to overcome this one so what we can do so we have an option that is nothing but clone node so what is this clone node so for example let's say that li element i want to catch the li element old li element already existing li element so li element i will take something like query selector so we are having only one li element right i am using this li now this li element I can use something like clone node okay so we need to pass two things uh, this one will take one argument so this are one argument whether it may be a true or a false true means it will take it will clone all its children and the descendants and all those things all its children it will try to uh, clone it if you may if you make it as a true if you make it as a false means it will take if it will take only the higher parent that clone element whatever the element you are having it will take the uh, that li element only i will try to show you that example also so ul element dot append child li element dot clone node so now if i try to do the same thing see now i am able to get an item one now for example let's say that ul element dot append child we got it so let's say that i am keeping this one as a false so now when you keep this one as a false now you see li has been added here but there is no text content for this one see li element has been added but there is no text content why because it will copy only the outer element only so whatever the clone element you are trying to clone it it will only copy the outer element and for example if you try to see here clone node of false we are given right so item one is a text node which is a children for the li so that is the reason 
so which is a child for this one so that is the reason the text is not copied so if you try to make it as a true then it will go and add it like this so here item one is also copied so this is the major benefit to using the clone node so just what i why i want to explain you is the clone node means so it will clone the element so i have shown you that without cloning how we need to do for example if you want to do it so i can run a set interval okay so here you will be having a function and in this function you can keep it this one okay and here so for every two seconds you can add it so let's see that whether what will happen so now for every two seconds this item one will be added see so like this it will be going on adding here la element so here you will be able to see all the items it is going to be added here so this is how we will be having so this la element set interval also you can use it so this is the benefit of using this clone node so this is all about the clone node concept so clone node what it will try to do so it will try to copy the content it's not copy the content copy the element and you can place it wherever you want it without using the clone node means we need to create the element and all those blah 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 these all things we need to do it so there is no need to do these all the things directly we can clone the element <clears throat> if you pass the true option it will copy the entire element and also with its children and descendants everything whatever the element it is having inside everything will be copied if you make it as a false i already told you that so false means it will not take the thing only the element will be copied so this is one thing you keep it you need to keep it in mind so this is all about the clone node option hope you understood about this clone node thing if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you